everybody. Welcome to the Friday vlog. I hope you all had a good week and I hope you enjoyed Wednesday's interview with Craig. That was a lot of fun putting that together. And again, Craig, thank you so much for helping. That was a lot of fun. Today's video, I wanted to keep things just, I don't know, feeling, feeling good and optimistic today. So uh, kind of a kite subject, kind of just, uh, you know, take this moment to be grateful for all the stuff that we have and um, know that we're going to have some fun once all this is over. So today I was thinking about um, when I learned kiteboarding and the relationship between instructor and student. I think it's a pretty cool relationship and it's a big reason why I've always focused on private lessons for the school. Um, I feel like the bond that you have with your instructor is something that like, it might sound kind of cheesy, but it, it does last with you. Like, I'm pretty sure everyone can remember their first instructor. They can pretty much tell you their first lesson. I, I've got mine in my head, and I want to share my first lesson, and then also my first teaching experiences, so from both student and instructor side. So I got my first lesson back in 2010. I was coming out here from Ohio from my spring break of high school, and I met my now brother-in-law, Carter Thomas who is also one of my <laughs> instructors now. So it's kind of interesting. He taught me, now works for me as an instructor, but he's still, he's got way more experience than I ever imagined. Uh, and I can't say enough great things about this man. He's, uh, he's given me a lot in my life. He introduced the sport to me, and that's kind of why I'm making this video, is the instructor is the person who introduces this new love to your life. And it is a pretty awesome thing. And when I met Carter, we, I knew he kite surf, so I was coming out here, and I was this Ohio kid that wakeboarded and stuff, and grew up on a lake, so when I heard kite surfing, I was like, man, that sounds awesome, and when I met Carter, it, 10 minutes of knowing him, he's like, it's windy, let's go do a kiteboarding lesson, I was beyond excited, beyond excited, and we got down to the beach, it's blasting windy, it's this April day, and it's kind of a little dreary out like it's been, but that storm winds with it, on the trainer kite, just getting worked, trying to handle that thing, just getting tossed back and forth. And I'm trying to make it work. But then, uh, so we get done with the trainer kite stuff, and uh, he hooks me up to an eight meter, and it's pulling like 30. And I were learning a little like 11 to one, okay, being really careful. And just because I was not used to how fast that thing was, I, I brought the kite hard across 12, and I remember kind of panicking for a second and just cheating in super hard. Before I knew it, I was like, I'm watching the ground disappear underneath my feet as I'm flying <laughs> towards uh, the boardwalk in Huntington and just get pummeled. I mean, pummeled. Now, not trying to uh, say that this was on my own doing and kind of just getting, you know, worked a little bit uh, too excited on the kite and kind of through a buddy lesson, but. Carter was an incredible teacher throughout the rest of the time it, that, I mean, that he was teaching me because he always kept an eye on me. He always made sure that uh, I, I was just asking question after question after question, and I was living with him. So, I mean, I, because I moved out to California, and I was now living with him, and just every night I remember, like, writing down this little diagrams, like, oh, what's up, what's up wind here, and how do you do this? And it was awesome, and I really still, like, all those learning experiences. And then some other instructors that I got to learn with was Bart Gaska, who was a friend. And he really, I liked his style of writing. And I remember him teaching me like the kind of like load and pop and how to do railies and stuff like that. And that was, that was really cool. So those are some moments that stuck in my head. And uh, just working with other instructors over the years, the little things you pick up on. So from the, the learning side, you, you take these moments in and they, they stick with you forever. And it's sometimes, I've heard some crazy stories of unforgettable, not so great times, but the funny thing is, you kind of look back at it and laugh. And it is still this moment that sticks with you with that first instructor moment. Um, and it could be your first lesson, but it could also be a first like lesson where things just popped and that instructor sticks in your head. Now from the instructing side, um, I remember the first lessons I gave, I was, oh, well, I was nervous. I, you, knowing kiteboarding and teaching kiteboarding are two completely separate things. For anyone who's probably tried to give a friend a lesson and you are a pretty confident kiter, and then as soon as you go to explain things, you're like, wait a minute, how? Because you, you just, when you're kiting, you're, you know what to do. But 
putting that knowledge into someone else's head. So you're not telling it to them, but they know what to do is, whew, it takes some time to figure that out. But the real thing that I want to get at here is the overall joy of teaching. And I think um, any instructor can really say that it is a really awesome experience getting to share your knowledge and watching it like come to fruition in front of you. Seeing someone uh, and knowing how awesome the sport is and being able to share that with somebody is an amazing feeling. Um, I think a lot of people will think I'm like kind of BSing when I am just stoked after a lesson, but it happens every time. Every lesson I give, I'm not kidding you, I'm smiling ear to ear because I'm so excited to see the progress in somebody. And I think it's kind of funny because there's all the students who, they, everybody wants to ride. Everybody wants to ride on that first try and it's a, it's a mixed bag. You get some people who are still struggling with getting the board on and you get some people who are on the other end of the spectrum that are taking off upwind the first time. But um, no matter where you get in your progress, it's progress. And I love just seeing, um, even if someone just nails a good body drag for the first time and get their board back, I am just shooting and hollering from the beach, super stoked. And it just is the best feeling because you see that. And then even when I'm sitting at the tent, if I'm not teaching and I have other lessons out there watching the other instructors or I'm um, even giving a lesson, I, I, I scan constantly. I'm all, I've got eyes all over and I'll see old students um, practicing out there, getting their first runs down, getting their first left foot forward down. I'm, I'm seeing all of you guys out there and it's just a cool thing. And again, back to the private lessons, why we teach. It's just the, the bond that you make with a student. There are people that I taught from years ago that are still out in Belmont and like some of my first students. And it is so cool to be like, man, like you know, years, years, years later. I'm like, oh yeah, like, we, we had our first first times out there and it's it's just a cool cool thing and uh it's the reason why i make these videos it's because of you guys and the uh awesome student instructor relationship that we made and i appreciate that i appreciate you checking out the videos and today is just a day of just feeling good and um looking back at all the fun experiences i've had with some of you watching this Maybe future students watching this, hopefully we can uh, get to hang out on the beach and share some awesome moments and some shakas for all that are out there. And yeah, so just get, feel good Friday. Feel good. Just wake up feeling warm and fuzzy, you know? And uh, yeah, so that is today's vlog. Hope you have a fantastic day. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. We finally have some break in the rain, it looks like. Tomorrow looks like it's going to be sunny. So enjoy the sun however you enjoy it if it's inside if it's outside on a walk during this quarantine just enjoy it enjoy life love everybody love everything it's gonna be over soon it's all good everyone i have some fun stuff in store for us next week with another pro rider interview with a very uh awesome young lady who is a world champion several time world champion actually uh, we'll have her on Wednesday. That's Mikel Soul. Super excited for that. We'll be back Monday with some more fun topics. Other than that, I want everyone to have a great weekend and happy kiting, everyone. See you later. Hey, everybody, Chip Ripperson here. If you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. That way, you'll be notified every time we post new videos like this one. And if you want to see more videos that are already on the channel, be sure to click right here for more of our pro rider interviews, gear reviews, and more vlog posts. Happy kiting, everybody. Ew!